everybody, it's the interview queen Alicia Toot here, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to my interview with Chelsea Collins. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you doing over there? How's your day been? Good. Just went for a walk. Now here. Yeah. <laughs> Play with my cat. <laughs> I know before we kind of started filming and pressing the record button, we were talking about downtime and how important that is to kind of just take a break from our work since our lives are our work. So for you, especially because this pandemic's given people a bit more chill time, how is a lot of your downtime spent? Um, well, I guess when I'm not making music, I feel like I'm either, honestly, it's really simple. I'm probably just playing with my cat. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of boring, but she's just perfect. Um, perfect. No pun intended. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, downtime. I also really do like to play like weird games with my brother. Um, we are actually roommates and work partners. So whenever we both feel kind of burnt, we'll just like play nerdy trivia games. Oh, that's awesome. So are you talking more like um, Trivial Pursuit or Scategories Taboo? Like what avenue do you guys dive into? Um, Honestly, I don't know what it's called. He has this pack of games on the TV and you just like connect your phone and you play trivia games. I think it's called oh, awesome. Jack- Jackbox or something. Okay. But I really like them. They're good for the brain and whoever made them like the whole pack of the game is a strange guy because like the humor in it's super funny and dark. So check out Jackbox Games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look into it because funny and dark humor is completely up my alley. So definitely got my eyes on that. <laughs> now we have to dive into the music because your newest single, Open Your Mouth, it is officially out and this is an absolute power pop anthem banger of a tune. So how good did it feel finally dropping another track off of your EP? Um, honestly, so, so, so good. This song, actually, I feel like I made it at the very start of quarantine. So it was good to just finally get something that was on my hard drive into the world and see how people react. And yeah, I mean, like, I'm just really excited to just keep being consistent with music. And a lot of the songs, too, were songs that I started even two years ago that are coming out now. So it's like really exciting to see the reaction. And also just like, I've always been teasing stuff with fans and seeing them know the lyrics before it comes out. I'm like, it's crazy. Like that anybody even cares at all. (laughs) It's fun because when I listen to this song, it really makes me just want to be angsty and kind of say screw you to any past relationship I was in where I was just frustrated or realized that I should be getting a little bit more. So what was kind of the moment for you where it sparked the idea where you really thought and realized I want to kind of write about this emotional turmoil? Um, I feel like during that time, I was just kind of losing my mind because this guy was so hot and cold and music is kind of the only way. If something bad is going on in my life, I'm like, okay, I can be grateful for this situation because I can at least make a song about it. So um, it was going on for a while. This guy was kind of driving me crazy. And I was like, you know what? I haven't written about it because it was too fresh, but fuck this guy. Like I'm going to take my power back and make a song that makes me want to like jump on my bed as if I was seven years old and just like, flip my hair and and like give him the middle finger like and so I tried to do that um but honestly making the song helped me get over the situation so much because I'm like I don't need this guy he gave me a dope song and if he's gonna treat me like poop I don't want him anymore (laughs) that is the way to go like a hundred percent and you kind of mentioned jumping on the bed there and when it comes to the video how fun was it just getting some of your best friends together to film this super awesome mean girls-esque slumber party (laughs) Honestly, it was, it was really fun. I mean, it was kind of like a, not a super planned video. I just had like texted my friends and I'm like, Hey, want to like pretend like we're in an early 2000s movie and just go crazy over a guy. And yeah, I mean, honestly, a lot of the props that were in the video too are like weird things that I collect. So it was really cool to be able to like finally utilize them in something. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I think the moving forward with like visuals I really want to have them relate more to me versus like here's what the director wants and doing this like I feel like as an artist you should always have like little things that make you yourself in in the video so you feel comfortable and I always loved the 2000s growing up so I definitely wanted to incorporate that 
it definitely shines through because the whole video, the entire aesthetic, it was just full on early 2000s girly vibes. And I love that. So when it kind of comes to those movies, the ones like Me Girls and your Freaky Fridays, uh, what are some of your favorite from that era? Um, I love obviously those two. I really like John Tucker Must Die. I like so good. I rewatched yeah. that like two weeks ago. <laughs> really? It, me too, dude. It's so, it's so good. What's yeah. so weird is one of my friends that was in the video actually was in Vegas recently and he was just like there in her hotel room. John Tucker was. Anyways. That's so um, strange. Yeah, she's like, look, I'm with John Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like that one. I love Clueless. Alicia Silverstone actually is from my hometown. So um, it, I don't know. She's she's dope. I love the fashion and Clueless. It's so cute. I feel like all those types of styles are coming back and I'm so excited because I feel like I've been dressing like that my whole life. And like I just like the 2014 Tumblr era, like I still was dressing like a Walmart Britney Spears. So now like finally I could be like, hey, like now everyone's dressing like a Walmart Britney Spears and I don't have to feel left out. <laughs> You know, what's funny is hearing you say that I've kind of always stressed like I'm like a 70s hippie. So now all those types of styles have been coming back over the last couple of years. and like, OK, I'm not alone now. Thank you, world. So I feel you. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's cool. I think everything just like with music trends, fashion trends, everything's kind of just a spiral. People just find ways to do a new take on it every 10 years, I feel like. Yeah. A hundred percent. Well, it's really fun hearing you kind of echoing pop giants, but you also give your song such a unique spin. So the last thing I wanted to ask you is just in your eyes, who would you say is the ultimate pop star? You know what? It's not even an artist. It's Max Martin. <laughs> oh, really? Because to me, he made all those giant big pop songs that like changed the world. So like at the end of the day, I feel like his core was meant to be like you know, like a big pop girl, but he's like, the, such a good answer. He's like, he's just such a hidden genius. And he doesn't like need to brag or be boastful or do any of that. And that's like why I respect him so much. And he's kind of the reason I even started writing and producing. It was like him, Kanye West and Taylor Swift were like my idols growing up, but him primarily and, and Britney, but like musically, he just is so gifted. Like every big song you're like, I know it's Max Martin's song. You see the credit. There is his name. He, and he doesn't have to prove anything. He's just changing the world with simple melodies. And I feel like simplicity is key. And that's why he's so good at what he does. Right. The unsung hero. Uh, definitely. <laughs> they don't get enough credit half the time. You're right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Well, Chelsea, I want to say thank you so, so much for taking the time for hopping on here. It's been so lovely getting to pick your brain, find out more about the woman behind the track. So thank you a bunch for hopping on today. Thank you for having me. Of course, to everybody watching, this has been the lovely Chelsea Collins. Be sure to check out alishatude.com for more exclusive interviews and features. And we will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.